How would you like to make a huge hot air balloon that requires nothing but sunlight for power? And what if I told you it would cost next to nothing to make, and require only some inexpensive trash bags and some tape? Well, it's true, and just wait until you see the results. For this project, we'll need four trash bags. Tear them off, but don't open them up yet. Once you've separated your four bags from the roll, we'll cut off the bottoms right along this line. Go ahead and cut the bottoms off of all four of your bags. Now take your first bag and spread it out evenly along the floor. Now open the second bag and tuck it about one or two inches inside the first bag. Now use your hand to spread it out evenly, just like this. Now we'll tape the bags together right along the overlap using regular scotch tape. Start in the middle and tape all the way to the edge. This is the same method we'll use to attach all four bags together. Now use a second long piece of tape, moving from the top edge down to the center. It doesn't have to be perfect, just secure. Go ahead and overlap the first piece of tape by an inch or two. Now flip the bag over to tape the other side. Before taping the long seam, we're going to want to take about a three inch piece of tape on the top and bottom edge and wrap it around underneath. Once you've done this, tape the seam just like we did the first side. Then repeat this process until all the bags are taped together. We've basically just made a long tube and now we have to close off one of the ends. First use a twist tie and then a piece of tape wrapped around just above the twist tie. Then cut off the excess. That's it! We're ready to go! Fill the bag with air just like I show you here and then quickly close the end and secure it with a twist tie. Don't worry if it's not completely full. As the sun heats the black surface, the air inside will expand. It takes very little time for the balloon to actually start floating. And before you know it, it'll float up into the sky. And I mean way up. The coolest thing about this is it suggests all sorts of possibilities for various configurations and shapes. And I don't think anyone can say that this wouldn't freak them out just a little bit if they looked up into the sky and saw this thing. It looks a lot like the cylindrical UFOs a lot of people have described in sightings. I have no idea how long and how far these things will fly, but I would guess a long way. I think I just freaked out the guys on the trash truck. As always, thanks for watching my videos, and have fun!